All right, this is getting dicey because the field is filling up. Uh -huh. Oh, thank God. I am going to tap one and two and two more to cast a mother kangaroo. <laughs> I can't, um, I can't well, cast yeah, it for can. mana, but I can use my secret base mana, thank God. Mm -hmm. So that's the five that I needed <laughs> for my 1-1 one, one kangaroo. When this creature enters the battlefield, roll a six-sided die. And then he gains that many plus one, plus one counters. Mm -hmm. so, uh, so Julius allows you to skip the mana cost on augment? That's exactly right. Dr. Julius Jumblemorph, right. he, is, he is a wise dinosaur scientist. He is going to automatically augment my mother kangaroo. I guess the drawback was this is that I can't use augments that are already in my hand. Well, I'm going to go to my library, and I am going to augment the kangaroo with the multi-headed hydra. Okay. He is now a multi-headed kangaroo, and he is a 4 plus 2 plus 1 is 7. He is a 7-7. Seven, seven. Rather, he's a 5-5 five five with two plus one plus one counters on him. Boom. I can't see the plus one plus one counters unless I hover over Mother King. Yeah, exactly. Nice. I'm sorry. <laughs> I get, hold on, let me see if I can, like, reattach him. All right. I'm going to attach that to the thing. Okay, there there we go. And now it says at the beginning of each end step, if I roll the die this turn, I roll a die, and then he gains that many plus one plus one counters. Right. And he has summoning sickness. I need to think of what I'm going to do. I am going to do nothing. I'm going to go to my end step, and I'm going to roll another six-sided die. Because you rolled a die this turn. Nice. He's becoming a gigantic, multi-headed freak. <laughs> so he gains five more plus one, plus one counters. Mm -hmm. Bringing him up to seven. And I will end my turn. All right. Okay, then I'll play a mountain. Let's see. I don't actually have quite enough to uh, to do to do what I want. However, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap my Mad Science Fair project and roll a six-sided die. Nice. I rolled a two, so uh, I added one colorless to my mana pool. Sadly, nice. that's not what I needed. Oh, well. All right. But one... Yeah, and I don't have enough. So, because uh, because I don't have enough, I... Hmm. I think I'm actually dead. Hmm. You are going to die, Mr. Gerdert. You're going to die. <laughs> I'm very likely going to die. I needed a white there, and I didn't get it. All right, I'll end. What would be what what is the silliest death of all time? Um I believe that in the uh there was a Daredevil comic where uh one of one of the victims ended up dying by inhaling uh, by inhaling too much uh, gasoline vapors. Oh god. <laughs> gasoline vapors that's Whew. I was going to say slip on a banana peel and break your neck, but that also is kind of tragic. <laughs> uh, maybe, maybe maybe silly death is not the point of unstable. <laughs> more, more like being blown to smithereens. Now I have a serious quandary, but I think I have to do it because I can't play anything else this turn. I'm going to pay three. No, I'm sorry. I'm going to pay four because I need a fourth mana for the Joyride Rigger. When the Joyride Rigger enters the battlefield, it assembles a contraption. Yay! Yes. So, roll a 15-sided die. All right. Rolling. The result was a two. Oh, you got a two. I'm going to look at the alphabetical order of my cards and get the second card in the order. It's the auto key. Okay. So, I'm going to put this over here. That's my... Yep. Uh, that's, your, uh, that's where your contraptions are going. Right. But now I got to think of... All right, so I guess... You crank during upkeep. I crank during upkeep, but I'm thinking, like, how do I indicate, like, where it is? Now, right now, uh, uh, where do you want it? Do you want to on sprocket one, two, or three? Well, for the, I'll, uh, let me read it first. Whenever I crank the auto key, until end of turn, target creature becomes an artifact, and its other 
creature types and it gains tap it, I gain three life. So I guess I'm gonna, uh, I guess I'll put that on like my first sprocket. All right, so during at the beginning of my next upkeep, I can, because this is on sprocket one, so I could tap it at the beginning of my upkeep next turn. But now for this turn, I'm going to go to my Declare Combat step. I'm going to swing you with a 12-12. All right. Um, I will block with my common iguana. Nice. It has been dealt. <laughs> Your common iguana is now destroyed. All right, and I lose eleven. And I lose nine, right? No, this this he doesn't have trample. Oh yeah, he, uh, he he. Oh my God, he actually doesn't have trample. He doesn't what? have trample. Yay! I'm wow. gonna end my turn. I didn't I didn't uh, roll any dice this turn. Okay. Ah. All right, I'm going to play a mountain. Woo! All right, and. I'm going to tap Mad Science for uh, project and roll a six-sided die. I got a three, which means I had a colorless mana, which is fine. Yeah. Because um, now you got seven mana. Oh, boy. Um, yes, and I'm going to uh, tap all seven of my mana to play Infinity Elemental. <laughs> this creature has infinite power. <laughs> yes, it does. Mwah! <laughs> It's so infinite, it's flavor text says it's so infinite, it's flavor text says it's so infinite. <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh, God, dude. that's quite bad. Mm, oh, yes. yeah, that's pretty bad. Please continue. Right. <laughs> now, the problem that I have is that I don't have, a, uh, I don't have the ability to give him, give him flying or trample. But I, could... but I effectively have a great goddamn blocker uh, for your Hydra now. I'll say. I'll end. Okay. He's got a big field. Oh, my God. The creatures are ridiculously huge. It's a natural planes. Thank God. Okay. Also, at the beginning of my upkeep, I tap the auto key. Uh, auto key is going to attach to the joyride rigger. I'm going to tap the rigger and gain three life. Okay. Next, I'm going to tap one and one for an uh, I'm sorry, and another one for an ordinary pony. All right. I so a couple I'm things happen. Oh, yep. I get the jewel, I get the jumble morph ability, and I get the pony ability. Mm -hmm. uh, the pony ability says I'm my exile target non-horse creature I control, and then return it to the battlefield under its owner's control. That card is going to be the Joyride Rigger. It's going to phase in and out. Mm -hmm. There he is. And when he enters the battlefield, I assemble another contraption. Right. I have successfully rolled a 12. I get the 12th card in my contraption deck, which is the targeting rocket. The targeting oh, rocket don't says... Forget, your auto key goes over to, to uh, uh, Sprocket 3. No, no, no. It, it doesn't move. Yeah, it does. You cranked it. What? No, when, when you crank, crank... All that crank means is that you tap it. Or, or whatever. It, it's, it's, it's like tapping. It doesn't, it doesn't move from the Sprocket once you assign it to Sprocket. Yeah, it does. It does? Yeah. That's but that would whole... mean that I get to crank it every turn. No, you cr you crank your, you you crank the contraption deck every turn. You do. The thing is, in in order for it so that you don't actually gain these effects every turn, they have to uh, shift. Uh, they have to shift onto different sprockets. One goes to three. Three goes to two. Two goes to one. But that's not how my buddies and I played it. <laughs> Your buddies and played it. I didn't have the correct uh, rule set for this. It's very specifically so you don't uh, so you don't get you don't just stack all of your uh, all of your contraptions onto the first sprocket and get them over and over again. Yeah, and that's and that's what I'm saying. That would be the well. That I thought the system. That's why I thought the system made sense. It's like oh, every three every third turn, I get to use it again. So, all right. So you said okay. So the the auto key is in the third sprocket. Yep. And at the beginning of this. Right, it's still the ter it's still the same turn when I use the rigger on the on the auto key. So the the my counter is at one right now. I'm having a great difficulty solving that. Um, so the auto key is over here now. For my, as for my targeting rocket, I'm gonna put that on. I'm probably gonna put that on sprocket two, so I get to use it next turn. Well, actually, you want to put it on sprocket one since you've already cranked. 
Damn it, this is so confusing. That means I put I even put the auto key in the wrong place last time. <laughs> Alright, I'll put it on sprocket one so that it will be on sprocket two at the beginning of my next upkeep. Well no, it's gonna be on sprock it's gonna be on sprocket one during your next upkeep. I'm so, I'm <laughs> okay. When you when you crank when you crank the contraption deck you uh you resolve the effects that are on that are on in sprocket one and then you crank them down uh to the next sprocket. Oh god. And that's that the, all right, so effect first and then crank second, is that yes, what you're saying? Effect first, then crank second. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna put it on sprocket two. Alright, so you don't want to use it next turn. I, I do. do you I want don't. to use it next turn, dude? You've already you've already cranked you've already cranked your this contraption deck. I do, I just I just really hope I really hope you're right about this because this is confusing as hell. Where am I supposed to put it if I want to put, if I want to use it next turn? You want to put it on sprocket That's all one I'm asking. because you've already cranked your contraption deck this turn. So during your upkeep next turn, you'll be able to crank you'll be able to crank your contraption deck again to trigger off targeting rocket. But that, uh, but where, where, which sprocket does it have to be in? Uh, uh for next, uh, for next turn, you want it, uh, you want it in, to be in sprocket one. Okay, I'm gonna put it in sprocket one. There we go. <laughs> Targeting rocket says, whenever you crank it, target creature must block this turn if able. Mm -hmm. But now that the pony is done, <laughs> now I get to do the jumble morph ability. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go in my library <laughs> and um ye yeah let's do the monkey I'm gonna attach the monkey to my pony it is now a no it is now a monkey pony yep. <laughs> it gets plus two plus two making it a four five. Nice. Okay. I see now that I also have no other plays. I'm going to move to my attacker step. Uh, let's see. I'm going to swing at you. You got three blockers, huh? All right. But I don't want to lose any of these guys. That's terrible. Well, I mean, hmm. you kind of want you kind of want to attack with your multi, your multi-headed mother kangaroo so you can uh, blink Joyride Rigger again. Well, I would. Do, oh yeah, that's right. That's right. I would get to blanket. Okay. Um. So I think that. Hmm. All right. You have two. Yeah. This is hard. But I think I know how you're going. Yeah, that would be how you block, which would not be very good for me if I did that. Um. Yeah, I am just gonna end my turn. All right. Yet another mountain. Oy. Huzzah. All right, I'm going to uh, tap Mad Science Fair Project. Roll a six-sided die. All right, I got a five, meaning I can add a white uh, a white specifically to my mana pool. <laughs> and behold, I cast Rules Lawyer. Booyah. No. <laughs> he got the Rules Lawyer out. Now, the question is, how badly do I want to gamble? Because... I really, really want to gamble now. You can, you got, you, there's a lot you can do right Shit, now. Shit, <laughs> I can't. You've got fucking targeting rocket. Yeah. <sighs> oh yeah. That, no, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. No, that's that's okay though. That or other per. Oh, the rules lawyer doesn't affect himself. Right. Shit. Oh, that's terrible. So state-based actions will still kill him at the end of a damage step. I need to get rid of your multi-headed kangaroo, and I can't do it. Fuck. All right. I think you need to get rid of my targeting rocket well, now. I can't do that either because I don't have shattering spree. Yeah. I'll end. Oh, boy. But, yes, the normally the rules lawyer would be quite the... Devastating play because it basically breaks the game. Uh, no, no. <laughs> now, during your upkeep step. 
All right, I'm gonna crack a target and rocket, and I'm gonna draw an arrow to the rules lawyer because he's the best target, okay. and then I move the thing to sprocket no, two, no, and no. I move the auto Targeting key to sprocket goes one. To sprocket three, auto key goes to sprocket two. Three, <laughs> three, and then two. I'm. A... There you yeah. go. <laughs> Now I'm going to move to my main... Oh, well, now I draw a card. Because my draw step. It's a secret base. I can't use it. <laughs> now, as for my move... Uh, so, I, the way I see it, the best move I can make is... To go to my attacker step. And then swing at you with my 3-3 shell offense, And your rules lawyer has to block well, this turn. yeah. But you can also assign you can also assign other blockers yes, too. Yes, and very specifically, I'm going to assign my infinity elemental as as a blocker. Damn. All right, my shell my shell fin takes in, my shell fin takes infinite plus one damage. Your rules lawyer takes all three of that damage I how? just dealt. I decide how damage goes. Not not when I'm no I'm the one who's attacking though. I decide where my da who I who I assign my right, damage right. to. Okay. So I'm going to, uh, yes, so I'm going to, yes, precisely. My shell offense is infinite times dead over. And since a non token creature I control dies, I'm going to phase the joy rigger again. About a bing, about a boom. Contraction. Okay, and I rolled a 10. The 10th card is 13, 12, 11, 10. The quick stick lick trick. Okay. I'm going to read it first before I sign it to a sprocket. Whenever you, cra whenever you crank the quick stick lick trick, target creature gets plus one, plus one, and it gains lifelink until end of turn. Um, I am going to put that on the... God damn it. Uh, if, I wanted to p if I wanted to do this on the turn after next turn, where would I put it? <laughs> um, after next turn, you put it on sprocket two. Okay, it's going to be on the auto key sprocket. I'm glad I don't have to number these anymore because I think I got I think I got the setup down pretty well. I'm going to end my turn right. now.